Google has built an AI scientist and Microsoft has built a new state of matter uh, and we're going to talk about it. So fundamentally, when you think about AI agent architectures, we tend to assume that they have a commercial application. And in this case, the AI scientist that Google built isn't really for commercial purposes. Google is beta testing it with a few select scientific labs, but it really is truly for higher, hard scientific problems. And it lines up with things that OpenAI have suggested and others that they really see open, uh, they, they really see openness to scientific research and advancing scientific research is one of the key benefits of artificial intelligence. You might say, where are the hard benefits? And when Google released their paper and then released the scientists' uh, AI architecture to labs, they called out that this scientist has already done novel work. And so a few examples they gave were that apparently it independently hypothesized a novel gene transfer mechanism that the Imperial College of London had looked at and had not yet been able to publish. And so it couldn't have known about it, but it developed a hypothesis that that was correct in that instance. But it went farther than that. It also looked at uh, drug repurposing candidates, which is often a fast track way to get drugs uh, into people's hands, because you can take a drug that works for disease X and say, oh, it actually works for disease Y too, which is a hypothesis you have to validate and all of that. Well, it proposed a novel drug that would work for acute myeloid leukemia. Um, and they took the drug and tried the repurposing and it works in vitro, which doesn't mean it works in humans yet. We're not all the way through. That's a multi-year process, but it means that it was able to formulate a hypothesis that stood up to the next test along the way. And what's, what's interesting is it uses uh, some enhanced reasoning under the hood to do that. So it scales test time compute, which is what we see a lot with reasoning here, right? Like test time compute is when you uh, ask a question and it takes a while to answer, right? Because it's running so much back and forth. The system engages in uh, scientific debates internally. It has ranked tournaments for hypotheses. Ultimately, that leads to improved reasoning and hypothesis qualities uh, or and hypothesis quality, I should say. So in terms of why this matters the key thing to take away is that at the end of the day ai is supposed to be able to do novel scientific work that is one of the bars that the model makers have set out and this is one of the first examples we've seen that it actually can and that's really exciting meanwhile microsoft unveiled majorana one uh which apparently includes a new state of matter we have solid liquid gas and now some sort of topological superconductor and they're not telling me like how to imagine it. So I can't tell it to you, but it apparently is made from uh, like the physical substrate is part of what makes this, the quantum chip so cool because it reduces, uh, it reduces errors and makes more reliable and scalable what are called qubits, which are the little bits that actually form the logic gates in a superconductor. And for the first time, they see a path to a million qubits in a single chip which would enable a quantum system that can actually do like industrial applications. Does this mean that we're ready tomorrow for industrial applications? No, no, we are not. But does it mean that we are excited to see if we can build a more reliable system because we have topological superconductors? Yes, I think this is actually a meaningful technical breakthrough and it shows that Microsoft and Google are very much neck and neck in this quantum compute race. It's been five years away from production for a long time, if you've been following supercomputing, so I'm not holding my breath. But I do think that we see a cascade of breakthroughs here that could lead to something that is meaningful quantum computing industrially, um, maybe by 2030, we'll see, right? Maybe this five years away will actually work. So yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I'm excited. Sometimes, sometimes I think we lose, lose ourselves in the model maker news and we forget some of these other hard science updates. So it's pretty cool.